Let me read verse 14. Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast off, but thy disciples fast not? Now, John, as we've indicated before, was an Old Testament prophet. He's the last of the Old Testament prophets. He walks out on the page of Scripture, actually out of the Old Testament into the New Testament, to make the announcement, as Malachi had predicted, that the messenger would come to prepare the way. And John says, all I'm doing is just getting the highway ready. He'll be along in a few minutes. And he did come along in a few minutes. Now the disciples of John, they are a little disturbed. Why is it that the one that John announced isn't quite doing it the way John did it? Now listen to the Lord Jesus as he answers this. And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then shall they fast. Now, I think for the church today that fasting has a real value, as we've said. But we have no commandment about it at all because we have the presence of Christ and we should rejoice in that. And fasting is actually done as almost an act of mourning and should be done with the thought and idea that we are prostrating ourselves before God, that we are down before Him, and that we are in need of mercy and of help. And that is the thought back of that. Now, listen to the Lord as He explains the change of dispensations from the Old Testament of law to the New Testament of grace. Listen to this. No man putteth a piece of new cloth into an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. Now, frankly, what he's saying is simply this. The old covenant, the old dispensation of law, was ending, and he has not come to project it or to continue under that dispensation. Actually, he's come to provide a new garment, and that new garment happens to be the robe of righteousness that he gives to those that don't do any more than to trust him. The wine skin was the bottle of that day. And you see that when new wine was put in a new wine skin, it would expand. But an old one that reached the place of expansion and wouldn't expand anymore, and it would naturally burst open the wine would be lost. Now, he said, I haven't come to sew patches on an old garment. I've come to present a new garment. I come now with something altogether new. This is very, very radical. John put it, you will recall, the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus.